How Magnus Carlsen Came Late Again versus Ali Reza Farauzja. Can you believe it? World chess champion Magnus Carlsen has done it again. Late to a showdown with rising star Ali Reza Farauzja, a face-off that many have eagerly anticipated. Why is he late, and what does this tell us about the psychological battle before the pieces even move? Set against the backdrop of a hushed, expectant audience, we find young challenger Ali Reza Farauzja ready and waiting. The vacant chair and ticking clock only amplify the mounting tension. And then, like a seasoned gladiator entering the arena, Magnus Carlsen makes his appearance, exuding both calm and confidence. The handshake, though brief, resonates with the gravity of the impending battle. The opening move, E4 by Magnus, immediately sets the tone. Farouzja's Karo Khan response not only indicates his preparation, but also his ambition. He's not here to play it safe. Magnus, in deep thought early on, acknowledges the challenge. The choice ahead isn't just about the next move, but the entirety of the game's trajectory. Selecting E5, Magnus signals that the gauntlet has been picked up. This will be a fierce battle of minds. As the middle game evolves, a surprise surfaces, Magnus's H3 move. To the uninitiated, it might seem inconspicuous, but in the high-stakes world of Grand Master Chess, it's a clear deviation from the norm. Is it a master strategy, or is he looking to unnerve his younger opponent? Farouzja, however, remains unflustered, illustrating his elite preparation and deep understanding. The clock is relentless, and as the minutes wane, the depth of their strategies becomes evident. Farouzja's dynamic and intuitive play contrasts with Magnus's methodical, positional approach. It's a fascinating dance, a delicate balance between offense and defense. Farouzja, showing maturity beyond his years, manages to carve out a fighting position, holding his own against the reigning world champion. But as history has shown, even a momentary lapse can prove disastrous against Magnus. A subtle inaccuracy from Farouzja, and the champ pounces, unleashing a tactical combination involving a menacing knight maneuver. The crowd senses a shift. Momentum, once evenly balanced, now tilts towards Magnus. The end game approaches, and it's here that Magnus's vast experience shines. Every move is calculated, every threat parried. Farouzja, battling both the board and the clock, seeks counterplay. But Magnus, with surgical precision, neutralizes every challenge, squeezing advantages from even the minutest of imbalances. Despite Farouzja's valiant efforts, the combination threats of Magnus's advanced pawns and active pieces begin to take their toll. The young challenger's position deteriorates move by move, as Magnus displays his signature endgame mastery. The writing is on the wall. When the final move is played, and the kings lay dormant, the room erupts in a mix of applause and analysis. Farouzja, though defeated, has showcased his formidable talent, proving that he belongs at the top echelons of the chess world. Magnus, ever the gracious victor, acknowledges his worthy opponent, reaffirming his status as the world's premier chess player. And there you have it, a masterclass from the reigning world champion, yet a glimmer of future brilliance from young Farouzja. Chess lovers, if games like these don't get your pulse racing, I wonder what will. Please hit that like button to show your appreciation. And for more such riveting encounters and analysis, don't forget to subscribe. After all, every move in chess tells a story, and we're here to narrate them all, just for you.